You're back with City Life and we're still with Jill Darcy with a special City Life episode of Complex Family Foundation and Complex Parenting, I suppose it, what it's it called. Is. Now what we were talking about before the break was the three biggest issues when it comes to divorce. It's mm -hmm. communication, routines and money. Let's talk about money. Money. We all want more of it and certainly as I said previously, if you can hurt your ex by getting more, then um, it's a lot of fair game. That's pretty much the philosophy that is out there. Unfortunately, I uh, take quite a different stance on this because it is so raw to most of us. I take quite a different level where I say, listen, money can be a fantastic servant, not a great master. So don't let it rule your decisions. Mm. And keep it in focus. If we can keep that children are the most important here, not money, we will solve a lot of our court issues to start with. Mm. There's two parts when it comes to money. One one is the amount that possessions, you know, your, all your assets that you divvy up when you go through a divorce, and that can turn really septic even if there aren't children involved. But if there are children involved, then please keep it in mind on what is the children's home, what is their environment, what is important to them. because. As a parent, that is your responsibility of keeping that intact as much as you can. Mm. The second part of what we look at is how the money that's transferred, whether you're a payer or a payee, and that's ongoing for years. Now often in New Zealand we have the benefit and if you are on the benefit then the government takes the money from your ex and it's all fed through this way. So a lot of those arrangements are predefined but if we are not inside that structure and we're looking at people who come up with private agreements or people who have come up with court ruling agreements then there's ways that we need to look at this of keeping it in line. So one of the big issues to remember is there is no such thing as fair once you've been through a divorce because you will see it through your eyes, they see it through their eyes and we're all needing more money. Mm. So the idea is to come up with something that works instead of trying to say is it fair all the time because you will never get it fair for you. Mm. The part of a, let's say the person who is paying the money, there's a little saying, pay but no play and it really hurts them because they've got this big amount of money going out of their pay packet every week and they're not getting the privilege of actually spending time with the children. Now the one who's receiving the money is often going, yeah, but I'm the one who can't hold down the high paying job now because I've got the restriction, I need to be there to pick up my children, I need to be there to drop them off in the morning. All those restrictions that realistically come into your life, you no longer can strive for those really high paying jobs unless you've got a lot of other support around you. So there's a lot of sort of give and take, that's what I mean, it's not fair, mm. it doesn't matter. Mm. So one really good solution I've had to come up and overcome the ongoing payment issue is I've worked with a mother, she's got three children, the ex-husband has then gone on to have another two children and of course now we've got five kids, as soon as he has more children he doesn't have to pay as much legally, okay, because that's all part of the way that New Zealand structure's made up, mm -hmm. uh, but her expenses haven't gone down just because he's now got extra children. So we have to think, well, what do we do? Mm. And what we did, we actually managed to get the, her to write down how much it would cost for her having her children over a three month period. And she sent that through to her ex-husband. Now, of course, he's just sitting there going, oh, I don't think you should have spent this much on that, or I don't think, you know, and all that naturally comes mm. out. But what she managed to do was through a very common technique I've used with hundreds and well, thousands of families is set up a separate bank account. Mm -hmm. This is only for money that is paid from your ex. The money goes in there, she uses it for the children and it's to buy the school uniforms, pay for the stationery, the lost shoes, suddenly that money's there. Mm -hmm. All that type of thing, school trips, doesn't matter, in there. If there's more money, take the children on holiday with it. It doesn't matter. You know, it's all about benefiting the children. Mm. And what actually happened in this case, the ex-husband was willing to pay more than what he legally needed to because he knew the money was going directly to the children, mm. not to support her lifestyle. Mm. Okay. All right. Now, we'll be back with you after the break.